Down it goes. Braden Costello furrowing it after it. Tries to go back to the near side. St. Ange was there. Nicely defended by Tri-City. Back to the left point. Connor Senkin on the wrap. Finds Novak down low. Borshov intervenes. Loose puck. Costello. Nice play to Novak. Sifts it in front and pounding at it out of the box. They celebrate. And there's no goal yet from the officials. But that puck might have dribbled across the line. It was a superb play down low by Costello to create a passing lane to sift it over to Novak, who didn't waste any time in pulling that puck right in front off the left post. Manning, left circle, backside. Lebser was there, but once again cut away by the Tri-City defense. Kesselring, a shot through traffic. Rebound, Meyer, save it. Another one from Seville. Oh, my. Lebser on the back end. It's loose, and that one never made it on goal. I think Rafkin got a piece of it. As we close in on seven minutes to go here in the first, there might be some energy and some animosity that might come over to the table here between these two clubs. Keep an eye on that. Clement behind in the right-hand corner. Reverse, bad turnover in front. They score. Joe Molinar capitalizes on the Clement turnover, and it's 1-0 Tri-City. So for Joe Molinar, that will be number one in his USHL career, the former Aberdeen wing, who's belted by Bolson there in the left-hand corner. Seven seconds to go. Durney slapping his stick, signaling that Kresge's about to join. Here's Kesselring, right circle, walking and shooting save. Rebound in front, where is it? Seville got a piece of it, and he gets all of it. And now hands along for Walsh. Back to Proctor, diagonally over, right circle, Renlin to the goal line. Here's Lebster. To Walsh, near side, good save, rebound, Brown in front, Lebster has a chance at it, and it goes wide. He'll carve his way around, Brown to the goal line. Lebster back to Brown with a minute to go in the power play. Walsh comes back down against the grain. Backdoor look, one-timer in Seville with a beauty of a save on Manning. Right point held by Bricky. Walking is Brown. He'll put one on goal up off the glass behind. Renlin scampers after it. Steals away. Marshals it back for Walsh. Nice connection there. Centering pass in front. Brown was on the doorstep. And that one just couldn't quite connect. Now a loose puck for Walsh. And it looked like Seville might have thrown his stick to make that save. Did I see that right? The red light went on as the goal judge, I don't think... Could have fathomed that one not going in. It was a funny hop that came Kitty Wampus off the back wall. And Acosta will swing this one up in, in front of Durney. Clement to the red line. Nice play from Walsh to spring. Redland to the left circle. Redland centers. Brown a one-timer and a dandy of a save from Seville. There, jostles it in to the right-hand corner and centers. And Rosen's there instead. Bolson trying to hold at the left circle and does. Down to Schmedlin who crafts his way out from the goal line. Schmedlin centers. Here's Bolson and how did Seville get to that one? My oh my. Starting to knock on the door a bit here. Paquette goes back to the point. Proctor might be caught in no man's land. Here and he is. Here comes Acosta. Left circle with McMenamin. Acosta shoots Durney with a save and a second and a third by Roman Durney. And he'll hold on towards the center of the ice where Brady Meyer was waiting all alone. Nicely broken up again by Tri-City. Another turnover at center. Here comes Luke Manning down the right wing wall. Manning peels and scores! Luke Manning, a rocket, ties the game at one. From the doghouse to the scoreboard goes Luke Manning. After serving a 10-minute misconduct for resisting the officials, he returns with a bang. A beautiful wrist shot from Manning ties the game at one with 3.44 to go. That one was tethered. With a nice churn back to cut that play back into the hands of Tri-City, and he'll hold the zone with Renlin. Rosen has no way to go with that, so he turns it over. Bricky with a shot. Glove saves Seville. The puck is loose. Here's Brown. He scores! Matt Brown! And the Bucks have their first lead.
Granlin clamors in for the faceoff and gets it. Back to the right point is Proctor. To the right dot, Renlin. Back to Proctor up top. Steps to the left dot. It's Walsh to the goal line. Left or in front. One time and they score! It's Brown again and it's 3 1. A masterpiece power play goal. Being his seventh USHL game for just the 16-year-old Novak. Costello pouring in after the four check. The reverse play from Rafkin finds a centering pass. Turned over, Costello scores! 4-1 Des Moines! Well, the gates are open. And that goal appeared out of nowhere. A turnover. And Renlin and Berg are going to go. Joe Berg wanted it. He's not afraid to fight. Renlin not afraid to go either. Berg's got him in a headlock. And the referees will come in. Well, Joe Berg. Did so in Omaha last year. 70 pims for Joe Berg last year. Morrissey in the middle. Ambrosio outside up top. Jones fakes. Molinar in the left circle. Back to Jones up top. Now here's Morrissey stepping in. Goal line. They score. Jake Crespi makes it 4-2 with 2.37 to go. And so that will bring one power play to a close. And will bring the Storm that much closer to a tie game. They still need two more, but it's 4-2. Goes off the end wall. Slung in front. Gloved down by McLean. Durney there. Stabbed away. Myers clear doesn't make it out. Six seconds to go. Pinned up against the wall. And the Des Moines Buccaneers hand the storm their first loss of the season. The final score, 4-2 here in Irvindale. So, the Bucks make it back-to-back -back wins. After dispatching Lincoln last weekend, 